they read a letter in the beginning of class. All the teachers had been given this, like, thing to read. They can't say anything other than the letter. I had to read that letter to the students. She read it, and I remember it opened with something like, you know, a student has taken their life. I know I didn't make it through it. My throat was choked up. You know, the whole class just goes silent. And, you know, there's a couple people who just burst into tears. In the five years that I've been living here, I know of seven students at Gunn High School and Palo Alto High School who have committed suicide. It's common to be depressed, it's common to have suicidal ideations. And that I could think of three people off the top of my head who I know have been to the hospital and to the psych ward before. Around here, I think we don't talk with each other about the extent to which our kids might be struggling. There's just so much competition. There are so many really, like, really talented students, and we're all, we all have to sort of go up against each other when it comes times for college applications. It's hard to feel like what you're doing is adequate or enough because everyone around you is doing so much more. So what we've got to do is figure out how to offer these amazing academic opportunities without crushing the life out of them.